Hey guys. No cards, but something I feel that I need to talk about. You know, when people go through things, you're allowed to feel emotions. And what is mostly portrayed by, you know, teachers and gurus is always, you know, positivity and you don't ever see them going through things. And it's like, yeah, it's hard to watch when, a, you know, someone's posting something that is going through something in their, in their emotions. And it's hard because you may be picking up on that, but it's okay to feel things and go through things and express those things. And I've probably said it before, but it's like, all you see from these big people is them in their highest energy. And yeah, we want to have that. We want to embody that. But you never see them at their worst. And that, to me, is not authentic. You know, if you're into astrology, I have an Aries moon in my 10th house. And then, you know, my Mars is in Scorpio in the 5th. So it's like... I feel like it is my job to be as openly emotional as possible so that other people can feel free in having emotions and in expressing them and that it is not wrong. Because yes, we want to be at our highest potential and positive and in our light but nobody is 100% in that on a constant we are always feeling things and it is okay to have that most people don't have the balls to put themselves out there when they're going through something to put it out there so that people understand that this is okay. That you have feelings. That you express them. That is the healthiest thing. Yeah, sometimes people have many fucking breakdowns. It's okay. That is okay. Because you need to go through it. That is the only way you will heal it. You have to feel that. You have to. And... I've got the biggest balls of them all because I'm going to fucking express that shit. Because I have to get it out. And... As part of my divine purpose... To show others... That it is okay. It is okay to feel, to express it. You're not going to get through it unless you feel it. And yeah, I've, you know, had, you know, f friends over the years on social media that they were just constantly fucking negative and bitching about their lives. No, you don't want to be around that. Because 
that is toxic energy that constantly fucking negative that is a very big indication that there is something really fucking big that you need to work through because I yeah I have gone through periods in my life where I couldn't get out of bed for months at a time and depression is most often an indication for a change something needs to change and when you're in it it is very hard to change anything all you can do is sit in that misery and that feeling and yes it's okay to express it but you have to get out of it you can't sit in your misery in your anger in your suffering because a lot of us find comfort in that that is what you need to get out of too because I've been there. I know what it's like. You can heal. You can get out of it. You can come to a place where you feel confident and at peace within yourself, within your life. You know, because right now, I'm living in my car, but you know what? I feel good. I'm okay with what is going on in my life because I understand. Like, when I'm going through the shit, it's really hard for me to see, but once, you know, the, the dust settles, like, I see the lesson in that. Because you know what? What happened a few weeks ago would have been the thing that would have sent me back to my cage as the wounded bird and I have been the wounded bird stuck in the cage all my fucking life and I finally took the stand that I am not going back to my cage I am spreading my wings and I am going to fly the way things are right now I understand I need to go through them in order for me to find my independence because if you know about a solar return chart a lot of my shit's in the second house so this is my time to find my own way my own you know my own value my own independence making my own way so we all go through shit. It's okay to go through shit. It's okay to express it. You just don't want to sit in it. You have to get out of it. You have to have the self-awareness to understand why you go through the things that you go through. Because they're teaching you. You have to understand it's all a lesson. It's all trying to break you out of the patterns that you have always been doing your whole fucking life. I have been doing a lot of shit my whole life. And the struggles that I've recently gone through are breaking me free of those patterns. And if you don't have the foresight the hindsight, the sight to see what the universe is trying to show you because yeah, I'm a pretty fucking stubborn person and I have to beat my head against the wall for a while until I get the lesson sometimes but I get it eventually sometimes quicker than others, sometimes not but as a spiritual being who is ascending very quickly I'm seeing the patterns a lot faster 
I have to repeat certain patterns in order to heal the deeper wounds that were caused by them because the 22nd was my late father's birthday and I think some of what recently happened with me was connected with my father wounds those are very deep wounds and yesterday knowing it was his birthday I forgave him I thought I forgave him long ago for drinking himself to death when I was seven and not having any memory of him but I think I truly forgave him and that was very freeing so the situation that I went through was a lot of those deep wounds coming out and having the self-awareness to see that pain being released and that pattern needing to stop. I can't, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm on a journey just like everyone else. And I'm not going to pretend that I know everything like some people do. You have to be careful. You want genuine people that have humility because the ego can take over when you get to a certain point in a career and empaths you have to be very careful what you're connecting to so I've recently understood just how much I can take on the persona of another person being around them I become a complete different person and don't even fucking see it that I'm being so affected by another person's energy I don't I may have always had the ability but it's like getting so strong now that I can take on a whole other fucking personality and not know what is happening to me and think I'm going fucking crazy and just react because there's just so much fucking stimuli coming at me and I don't know what's going on. It's because I'm fucking taking in so much energy and I'm not protecting myself. We have to protect ourselves and that's very fucking important to protect your own energy and from picking up so much and you have to release that shit because you'll hold on to it and not good <laughs> but I love you guys the universe loves you it's okay to feel it's okay have a good night